A violent storm system ripped across at least five states this weekend, and there were reports of more than 100 tornadoes. Dick Brennan reports the twister that hit Woodward, Oklahoma, was deadly. Yeah, lucky me gets to be next to Jen. <laughs> uh, Michael was just saying it's girl power this morning. So I we're know, having usually fun. it's flip flops. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we certainly so, are. Yeah, we're having fun on this Monday morning, but it is Monday, April 16th, and uh, we're going to take a look at the weather with Michael. And I know you're outnumbered, but you know, you have some fun weather stuff to talk about. And that's Many the thing. He have. has the energy. What mm -hmm. he needs to also pick up is the coordination and maybe the timing because it is quite, you got to be coordinated. Jen, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to, we have somebody just happen to have this. <laughs> I don't know where, where you does this come from. Around. Where does this come <laughs> Former from? Former cheerleader here. Yeah, so I was telling Jenny he's a little bit too floppy earlier. You gotta have the stiff <laughs> high beam go motion. Team go. go team go. Sorry, I do you wanna Nope. Nope. She, not she's at not all. even gonna go there. Not going to try. You <laughs> would be turning the channel if you saw me do that. So we're gonna keep it here. We're gonna make you keep it here and watch Brittany cheerlead. Uh, meantime, we're gonna let you know what the roadways are looking like this morning. <laughs> Yeah, take that traffic yeah. traffic, please. <laughs> People uh, want to see this, Just Jen. kidding. I remember when I was a kid, I used to go to the Griffith Park Observatory in California, and you could buy uh, space food. It was a freeze-dried, yeah. like, oh, yeah. God, it was awful. You went to the science museum, yeah. and you got it in the packets. Mm -hmm. It's, like, powdery, it weird. Awful. It's supposed the to be ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah. It was awful, just so bad, but you taste it anyway. bad for them. But, you know, they made... They lose a, weight up they, there. They have, and they've made uh, great strides, I think, since we were kids eating that I stuff. I hope so. Ugh. Let's take a look at traffic this morning. <laughs> and we'll see what Is there seriously anything JT doesn't do when we're not just talking no. about just, or, um, Jennifer Tomasek? Right? I do no. it all too. <laughs> but he inspired decor in your home. You can pick up his stuff on homemint.com. I'll we'll have to check that out. Yeah, I think it's coming up in a couple months or so. It's supposed to be released. But that's pretty interesting. I wouldn't have pegged him as a designer. He's a designer, comedian, singer, dancer. Actor, everything. everything. <laughs> Frankie and Winnie will hit the theaters on October 5th here in the U.S. And I will probably be going I to see it. I was just going to say, <laughs> I know what you will be doing on October 5th. I love Tim Burton. It looks like a neat movie. He yeah. does a good job. I was doing kind of a comparison this morning about from that and it, kind of a kid version of Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, so probably a little more for kids, but it looks like a good movie. Yeah, check Hol that out. Or what is it, Frank and Weenie? Frank and Weenie, <laughs> yep. I well, some people wanted to save it, others wanted to tear it down, but overnight, the Sydney High Building went up in flames. CBS 58's Sandra Torres joins us now live from the scene with the latest. Sandra? Well, the International Cycling Union wants to know why Lance Armstrong has been stripped of his seven Tour de France titles. This is what the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency decided after Armstrong officially gave up his fight against the doping charges last night. Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn has picked a fight with the Journal Sentinel over the release of city crime information. Now Alderman Bob Donovan is offering the chief some advice. He thinks the chief should release the numbers and end the feud. And if you're a young professional living and working in Milwaukee, this is your week. It's a first time event, Young Professional Week. It's actually called a smart bed. It literally makes itself. It looks kind of creepy, like there's a ghost that absolutely looks like something straight out of a horror movie. But a Spanish entrepreneur dreamed up the idea. He's now looking for invest investors. Three seconds after you jump out of the bed, three seconds, a mechanical arm pops up on the side, straightens your sheets, and even fluffs yeah. your pillows. You'll have limited options on your bedroom decor, though. You'll have to buy special bedding to make it work. No word on how much this will cost, but it could be coming to a store near you in the future. What do you think? Investment? I'm not that lazy. You know? <laughs> no. I can be a little, you know, but you but know. But it's like, really? Just throw I, your I don't sheets need, out. It depends on how much it costs. If we're talking like five bucks, maybe. If, it's, if we're talking 500, I'll make it myself. And three seconds, like sometimes I'll jump out, I'll get back. Like you only have three seconds before an arm is like <laughs> coming over you with this. That's, I'm, that's a little creepy. I, I agree. I agree. And it's not enough time. They need to give us a minute. Let's just promote some more laziness. All right. <laughs> All right.